So you're always gonna carry that energy, AKA like something um, like something is following you. So for the most part, that's like your ghost. And you have a masculine one, which builds frustration, and you have a feminine one, which is like energy you receive via, it looks like another person, place, or thing, but it's being brought into your life. And it put things in your mind like, damn, who sent you? Damn, why is I'm here right now? Damn, why is I'm going through this? You know what I'm saying? Or if it's the masculine light, it'll be the uh, the idea that you push out and make other people feel. Then in the meantime, you subconsciously checking your your mind to even kill the previous ghost that you already got because they can't with you because you in a different cycle, you in a different karmic cycle. So that one can't chase you to keep you in that same cycle because you in a different circumstance. You being in a different cycle, you're you're attracting different things into your water cycle. So you probably got different people, places, and things that you're dealing with that don't even represent that past um, karmic cycle or that, that past ghost. So for the most part, that ghost can't even attack you because the light that you're creating in front of you don't even got those same images or waters or, or lights or information. And there's going to be a bridge. There's going to be a, a bridge over that mandala bay, over that mandala bay. There's getting ready to be a bridge built over that mandala bay, which is the universal bay. And the bridge over the universal bay is the stargate. So when these stargates open, there's gonna be certain deities, okay, known as clown demons that are gonna stop you from being serious so your soul doesn't get to serious. So your soul doesn't get to the serious star system, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and if, if you think that's it, if you think that's it, Batman, Batman, Batman was what? Batman was what? The Dark Knight. He was the Dark Knight. And when you say that knight, why, why did they call them knights in medieval? They called them knights because they were dark as night. They were the melanated moors. So Batman represents one of the melanated moors who was part of the magi who taught the samurai their way of life. And Batman, the B-A is the Ba, which is the physical manifestation of man. That's what Batman represents. It absorbs sunlight. Remember, sunlight is actually alive. The sun is alive. It, the rays of sun carry intelligence, consciousness. Now, by us being melanated or black, we absorb literally intelligence directly from the universe. By a white person not having melanin, they do not absorb this consciousness or this intelligence, this divine and this divine um, intellect. This is why white people are recessive because their genes are so weak that they can no longer heal. Now, the white man is called the devil because his due to his physical genetic makeup and lacking little to nut and having little to no melanin he is forced to vibrate at a lower frequency or on the animal realm the physical manifestation of the lowest level of consciousness aka a white person physical body now may now there's now a white person might mentally and spiritually be righteous but the physical being is unnatural and to me it is a devil and for two the devil is inside of me the devil is that voice in my head that tells me to go against the grain the devil is inside of me it's a lot of people have committed suicide after opening their third eye and they putting a bad name on the third eye like the third eye is demonic and all this bad shit the third eye is not bad at all it's not but one thing you have to understand you have to be spiritually prepared before you open your third eye you have to literally line up your chakra some of y'all don't even know what chakras is and you trying to open your third eye before you think about opening your third eye you need to learn about the chakras bro your root chakra is basically like you back grounded like you actually feel like a kid again you feel like a kid again you give a kid a toy kids start creating different imaginations with his toy that toy becomes his best friend so if you open your third eye and all your chakras not lined up and my third eye is open right now i'm not gonna see or experience nothing you experience life is beautiful to me your solar plexus your solar plexus chakra you want to eat way healthier you want to go and find some good food that's how you know your sacral chakra it's open and everything is math the way we grow is mathematical these lines these phalanges they grow in the, in a mathematical shape that's why your pinky is this size this is this size. it's mathematics you know what i'm saying 
we're bringing that back right now. There's nobody that's really going to give you um, this level of information and give it a grand unified way of speaking because we put the astrology with it, which is astral, just the astral realm. We put the physical with it, which is people tearing. We put the quantum physics with it, which is the past, present, and the future. We are the teachers. We are what humanity needs. Like, no, every you, you need melanin. It's different levels of melanin. Uh, because with uh, what you said about slavery, it's like, you can't enslave melanin. So we talk about it now, understanding that it can synthesize the light and spread the information through our skin. It was always doing that. So through neurological uh, programming, through NLP, like we say, I love myself. I'm going to start with astral projection. Astral projection is the phenomena of leaving one's body. That happens usually when you fall asleep, but you stay awake at the same time. That is a, pr a skill that anybody can learn. It takes about a month if you practice it every day. Um, I practiced for about a month and I suddenly was walking out of my body and I looked at my sleeping body and I got so excited and I walked around a little bit and I realized I don't have to walk, I could just float. Evolution of consciousness. And that happens in a different realm or a different dimension, whatever you want to call it. It's not part of the physical, but it experiences the physical and by engaging with this three-dimensional reality, consciousness learns and so forth, grows, becomes wiser, becomes more loving and eventually leaves these bodies behind and, and goes explore other things. Is a feedback loop because if you think of reincarnation, then you know souls come into bodies, experience something, go back out, come back in and experience what they created essentially the result of their actions. So that's like a feedback loop. A feedback loop is if one energy feeds into something that feeds back into itself, so it keeps growing by repeatedly applying the same process. So with this vehicle, this body. There is the shadow side of things. I'm looking at my shadow right now, even though I'm talking through this camera. With what you see right now, with this vehicle, the suit that I am in, it contains melanin. We are made of stars. They instill that fear in you to keep you from evolving and becoming your best version. So this is what you need to understand. So with me being an Anunnaki, which I am a part of the Elohim and the Elder Gods, uh, something actually took place with us. Certain people wanted to start working with us because they noticed something about us. They noticed that we wanted to harness our sexual energy and keep that for ourselves. And by doing this, we were able to advance within our own technology but it only went up to a certain point i've given you the order in previous videos uh about the order of things it is the woman that was in the planet first or shall i say the wound man uh she was considered to be the wound man okay now let's break down the body of the female and the male why she was the original man uh the wound man was the original uh title that was given to the uh woman okay that that it was it was it was a uh, man okay that's werewolf for man which was the wound man which is actually the woman okay she was the first you, you didn't come from the cosmos. The womb man did. Okay? The only way, only connection you have with the cosmos is through your mother, through your sister, through your daughter. Okay? Now, males have a scrotum sack. And a womb man has a fallopian tube. Is not man God? Is it man, not God? Not when you're born inside someone else's world. A man's world, where that man tells his woman what to do and his children what to do. And if you try to be a man about what you feel is yours as a God, or that this is the 
This is the devil's world. It split itself into two particles of its own self. And that was the man and the woman. The woman was never supposed to resist the essence of the man. But to absorb that essence and give it right back to it. To empower it again. The yin and the yang. The man is the intellect. The knowledge. The intellect. The intel. The blueprint. The woman is the expression. Give me a big yes. This spinning in a circular motion indicates yes. I've been revealed to have been here before um, and I reincarnated. Uh, actually, in my past life, I was a, uh, a female. Which might be kind of crazy, you know, like people might be like, but I feel like spirits are androgynous and I feel like you reincarnate, you reincarnate here according to what, according to what uh, you need to do, like what, what vessel suits the mission. So um, now I'm in a masculine form because this suits the mission that I have at hand. But it starts spiritually. So if you're not spiritually inclined, you won't notice what's happening right before you. Um, but here lately, I've been getting a lot of downloads, a lot of messages, and I've been kind of ignoring myself. Like, nah, my head literally got light. Like, like, like it felt like a uh, me. I've been in my solar plexus for a long time. That's the uh, heart chakra. The Caucasoids or Europeans were genetically spliced and engineered. You can go hop in a Ford Taurus, and then you can go hop out that Ford Taurus, and you can go hop in a Ferrari. Now, when you hopping in out of that Ford Taurus and you go to that Ferrari, you just driving in a different vehicle. So any being can get into these different vehicles and drive them. But is it the being that you want maneuvering that vehicle? Developing a stronger connection with your higher self will make you a more confident, happier person who knows what to do, who's always at the right place at the right time. You will feel divinely guided and protected. You will feel more secure and stable. The benefits of having a stronger connection with your higher self and allowing all that is to come down and meet you here in your physical body on earth and your physical personality here on earth, the benefits are endless. Now that part of you decided to have a physical incarnation, wanted to experience duality, polarity, you know, the human experience. So that part of you came down to this planet, to this reality. Now, when we come into this physical incarnation, we forget all of that. We forget how big we are. We think we are just these weak, powerless, fragile human beings. So how do we bring more of our soul down to meet our, us in our body? We connect with our higher self. It's super simple. See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. These three things are going to help you to connect to the divine purity goodness of this universe. It's going to help you to become more of yourself, to manifest better, and to just live a more pure, loving, love-filled life. What it did for me it's like what our ancestors did they left these different plants here as ancestral databases mm. or usb drives mm. you feel me left here so that anytime we go through a chaotic crisis on the earth and forget that we are god like we are now we're able to take these different plants mm. and internalize them and these different plants have different uh dna information uh held within it uh that has a um it's basically memory, basically. Mm -hmm. It's ancestral crystalline or DNA. Huh. And so when you take it in, you start to uh, be reminded and remembered. When you're taking these, these different plants, you're taking these ancestral databases, and it's making you and reminding you of the acoustic records and how you share this oneness with the earth and the universe. Mm -hmm. So basically your pineal gland produces and secretes DMT automatically. Mm -hmm. Your pineal gland uh, produces and secretes serotonin and dop dopamine automatically. So when you're taking these these psych psychobins mm -hmm. is what they are really called when they uh, the real word with I mean the word that they use right now is psychedelics but they're psychobins -co when you take them what it is, is reactivating your pineal gland, your third eye, mm. and showing you the earth and the universe how you're really supposed to be seeing it in mm. all seven spectrums of light. 
Right now we're seeing everything in its densest form and its densest vibration. Right now we're seeing everything solid because we're not seeing through the pineal gland because the pineal gland has been calcified. What you got to understand is when you take these ancestral databases or these uh, DNA crystalline that is reminding you how you are one with it in uh, the earth and the universe and the whole acoustic records, when you take these things, it's activating your pineal gland. It's reopening it. Mm. You know, it's... Um, it's basically like you're being reborn again.